Hey guys, this is Rick. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, today I'm filming on my little handheld Fuji. There it is. Um, and I'm doing so because I have a something to show you. Okay, so if you have a a camcorder with no headphone socket and you want to go out and actually sort of film stuff you know make videos for YouTube or whatever it's very very difficult sometimes to understand what sort of sound quality you're going to get until you've got home and uh, uploaded it to your computer at which point you generally find that your sound is rubbish because you know the microphones here at the uh, here at the camera and your subjects are over there and you don't hear a word of it um, so I'm going to show you a little trick that I sort of discovered by accident earlier today uh, that will enable you to listen in headphones uh, to the sound that you're recording as you're recording it. Now, there's a little story to this because, um, and the, the reason I'm filming on the Fuji, I'll, I'll show you now, is because my main camera is actually uh, rigged up onto the Flycam. And I actually need to show you something on the camera, so obviously I need another camera to do it. One of the uh, the problems with, with using the camera on a stabiliser is when you're filming backwards, you cannot see your monitor. Um, now, basically, uh, it, it's fine when you're walking along, you can see the monitor, no problem at all. But if you say you want to follow, you know, say you want to film somebody walking along and you, you want to be in front of them, but obviously running backwards is, is not good or walking backwards is not good. So what you do on a on a fly cam if you do that you walk forwards but you're filming backwards of course the problem is you can't see your monitor so you I mean I could go out and buy a, a you know one of those big seven inch monitors and sort of pay 80 90 pounds for it but what I did because I'm a cheapskate and <laughs> um, I went out and I bought one of these little Casio TVs and I've literally just strapped it to the other side of the camera I've used the, the camcorder um, strap to hold it in place and it works absolutely brilliantly. So I can now walk backwards and actually still see what it is I'm filming without guessing. Now there was a bonus to this, and this is why I made this video, because on the top of this little Casio TV, this, by the way, this costs uh, 14 pounds on eBay. They're, they're so cheap at the moment. Um, on the top, it's got a little headphone socket. Now I plugged in a set of headphones and hey presto, I could then hear what I'm recording, which is fantastic. You see, one of the disappointing things about this camera, I think the only disappointing thing about this camera, which is basically a standard Panasonic camcorder, um, is it had no headphone socket. Um, what was happening was um, I've been using a radio mic system, but what's been happening is the subjects have been going out of range, but because I haven't had any way of listening to the sound as I'm recording, um, they've been going out of range and, and I've had so much ruined footage because it's got no sound to it. So by adding this little TV, um, I now have a means of listening to the sound that I'm recording as I'm recording it, uh, which is absolutely fantastic because I was actually thinking about buying a new camera just so that I could have you know, a camera with a headphone socket. So for a £14 purchase, I've saved myself about £1,400. So if you have a small camcorder, it doesn't have a headphone socket, but you still want to hear what you're, you're recording, you could quite easily get one of these and just strap it to the bottom of your camera, a bit of duct tape or something, or build up some sort of a rig, whack in a set of headphones, um, and you're sorted. And all you need, you literally, this will work for any camera that has an AV output. You, and, you know, I think even the cheapest ones these days have uh, an AV output. So anyway, that was just a useful piece of advice or um, you know, a little bit of information. I uh, hope it's useful to someone. Leave a comment if, uh, if it was. Um, we'll see you next time.